Hello, this is Drek here. Welcome to how to start Minecraft with mods. So, it's been a while and I've been having, well, a lot of trouble getting to actually record stuff. So, I'm, I was just like thinking, well, I'm going to take five, ten minutes of my time to actually make a new, new video with some updates. So, because it's been so long, uh, people have probably forgot the first video. I could link it, but yeah, I'm just going to, to go through it very fast. So we have we know how to start Minecraft with Minecraft and punch a tree, make some tools, get some stone, make some stone tools, get some iron, smell some iron, make some iron tools. Um get more iron, get diamonds, make some iron diamond tools, diamond armor, go to the nether, go to the end, and we're done. That was pretty much Minecraft. In a nutshell. In, uh, vanilla Minecraft that is, and then we had the modded version, which is pretty much the same deal over and over again. But there was some difference with the uh, applied energistics, making some, making a, uh, a grinder on a crank, uh, and well, it's not the end because we have this. Now this is very unprofessional of me, but I don't care. So. <coughs> so basically, this is going to be uh, how to start Minecraft with thermal expansion, as you can see here, thermal expansion. So you got the grinder, but you don't want to grind anymore. You got a furnace, but you don't want to smell stuff anymore. So this is basically how to start. First off, you'll need some coal, some water, and you need some power to power the machines for thermal expansion. So as you can see here, here's a um, steam dynamo. I'm just going to hit hide AI. Uh, it's a style steam dynamo, so you can uh, let's see, you can open your thing and get a bucket. Uh, get a bucket. I'm really having a hard time with this. There we go. There. Forget what. Okay, I can't grab a bucket of water because for some reason a bucket of water won't work. Okay, there we go. So um yeah, that's something wrong here. But you can fill it up all the way. You can take your coal and put it in and basically you're generating steam to power your and to power your machines. Uh, and of course how to build it is a wood gear, to a stone gear, to a copper gear, to and then make a transmission coil, which is silver redstone, and then make it with the ingredients of some copper and some redstone. And you got a, a dynamo. And this is I think is it I um, can't remember but uh, yeah it, it's 20 RF, so maximum power 80 RF. Can one, and that's pretty much two machines. And of course, having a steam dynamo, we'll also need a lead conduit. This is this is just the start. I haven't even there's a, some power uh, storage as well. Oh, I'm in creative mode. That's why. Um, I'm in po power storage. Pretty much, uh, it is it's not really used here. You don't need it, but if you want to go ahead, then you can get a lead uh, energy cell. But this is a lead conduit, um, a lead stone energy conduit, which is made by with redstone, lead, and glass. So you get six. So two two lead and a, a glass and some some redstone. And you're pretty much good to go with with power. Um, then the first machine that you will need to make, or you can make, you decide. Uh, there is actually um, instead of the crank, which is a really annoying item to use because you need to crank it by hand. There's a polarizer, which polarizes stuff. So you put some ore in here, uh, and it double your ores and. You get some extra 
kind of chances of getting stuff. So you can see you can pulverize, even pulverize wood and harden it into yourself. Too. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, but yeah, uh, like iron gravel to pulverize iron, and you get ferrous dust from it. Ten percent chance. There's some chances you can get some dark dynamo. Yeah, redstone ore. Get stuff from it. So that's that's a lot of recipes to to grind up some stuff. We had or double mechanic, so how to make well you will need to make a machine frame which is four iron, four glass and one gold in the middle and you're good to go with that. Then you'll need uh, almost the same as uh, the conduction coil, this is just a reception coil to receive. Um that's gold and two redstone, pretty easy. And then to make the power rise it's piston flint, copper and uh, the coil. And you've got to go. But then you'll need something like smelting stuff. And you'll get a redstone furnace. Uh, which use power as well. Uh, it uses, is it 20? Yeah, so one engi one dynamo is enough to power these two machines so in, a, in a decent way. So, so that's cool. Uh, that's fast and early to start with. Um, yeah, that's basically it, and, and that's made the same. You, you need to make a machine frame, and then you need some bricks, some redstone, another coil, you're good to go. And then if, like me, you, you, you think to yourself, well, if I have one piece of wood, do I really want four planks, or do I really want six planks? And if the answer is you want six planks, then you have the sawmill. It's basically what it is. You put your wood in here, you get two extra wood planks, and you get some uh, sawdust. And that's basically it, and that's pretty easy to do. Iron axe, planks, machine frame cover, and a reception call. This is just a bonus item I wanted to show, because then you, you'll get two extra planks. And over here is a, is a setup uh, of automating uh, the whole thing, because um, fact, uh, thermal expansions is really, really good for like not having too much stuff f uh, around. And, and here you have a, a polarizer and uh, a furnace, and well, they're connected to each other, and that means that when I flip the lever for this um, uh, item duct. It will pull the iron. I can show you. Pull the iron into the polarizer. As you can see, there you go. Polarizing some iron. The iron will then land here, get pulled directly into the furnace, as you can see here. So this is actually polarizing, and this is just dumping directly into the furnace. And you can see there's some configuration here that you can do. So it's blue there, that, that's the input, and the orange is output, so it's inputting on the left side, and outputting on the right side, and it's outputting to this crystal chest, so we can actually see. So This is a really good way to save, save um, room uh, and in the start. So And back here we have some redstone energy conduits, some steam engines, some blocks of steel to power these things. Actually, you just need one. And then you'll see this semi crazy setup, which is an uh, aqueous accumulator, which makes an infinite water source. And it keeps this fill up with water at all times, so there's no need to. So, yeah, that's basically it. And, and that's another way to start your, your Minecraft mod experience. Uh, if you're stuck and if you don't know, if you don't want to play the whole Minecraft vanilla experience where you don't do anything really, uh, well, this is this is the way to do it. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll I'll make some more if people want to see more. Um, so yeah, like, give me a like, comment. Did you like it? Did you not like it? anything changes. I know I'm not that good at it, but I need to get better. So yeah, I've been dragging this bit, how to start Minecraft with, with mods, and have fun.